folks, Jordy here for Premiere Basics and the one effect that I use the most inside Adobe Premiere Pro is the crop effect. A very simple effect that allows you to crop a clip from either side. But there's so much that we can do with it, so I've got like five different examples. So let's go with the first one. I'm gonna create a new adjustment layer from the project window and then drag that above my clip in the timeline. From the effects library, obviously search for the crop effect and drag that to the adjustment layer. Go to the effects controls and from the crop settings, I'm going to change the top to around 15% and the bottom as well. And this creates those cinematic bars. But the reason why we're creating that on an adjustment layer is so that I can now change the framing of my clip. You see, the woman here is getting cut off on the top. So I'll select my clip, go over to the position property and pull it a little bit down, giving her more headspace. And if you already enjoyed that first trick, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. It helps this video perform better in the YouTube algorithm and it supports the channel. So thank you for doing that. All right, moving on. I've got three clips on my timeline and I want to have them in a three-way split screen. So I'll first start off by enabling the guides in the program monitor. If you can't see that button, click on the plus, locate the guides and drag that to your button layout. Now with that enabled, we can drag out guidelines. My clip is 1920 pixels white, divided by three is 640. So I'll place my guides there. Take a new guide and place it another 640 pixels further. I will now disable the track visibility for the two top clips so that we only see the bottom one. And I'm going to reposition it so that it fits within the left column. Then enable visibility back for track two and place it in the middle, which is already pretty decent for this clip. Finally, enable the last track and move it aside to the right column. We can now apply the crop effect to the middle clip. And when you select a crop effect, you can actually visually change the crop in the program monitor. The left crop should align with the first guideline. The right crop doesn't matter as it's being covered by the top clip. For the top clip, we'll do the same and move the crop to the right guideline. And that's how you can make the perfect split screen or tripled split screen. Now I've got a cinematic shot right here on which I've done this amazing color grade. And I want to show the before and after. First, duplicate the clip, which you can do by holding down the Alt key as you drag the clip a track higher. And I'm going to duplicate it one more time because you'll notice that I have two Lumetri effects on it. So we can do two swipes. For the top clip, I'll have both Lumetri effects on it. The middle clip, I'll remove one of them. And for the bottom clip, I'll delete both of them. Now let's add the crop effect to the top clip. You can pick which side you want. I'll set to the right to 100%, which will crop the entire image away. Now set a keyframe by toggling the animation, go forward in time and change it to zero. Now copy that crop effect with Ctrl C or Command C for the Mac users, then select the middle clip and paste the effect with Ctrl or Command V. And it's copied the keyframes as well. So we only have to move them up a little bit so that the middle clip will reveal itself first and then the top clip. There we go, a breakdown of our color grading. Now, if you want to master Premiere Pro as well, then definitely check out our classes. We have a beginner, but also an advanced class. After that course, you'll know everything there is to know about Adobe Premiere Pro. It's a super fun and interactive class and the overwhelmingly positive reviews speak for themselves. So definitely check it out. If you're new to Skillshare, I can even give you a month of free access. After that, it's less than 10 dollars per month, giving you access to all of our classes. Now, as a student, you can download the project files. And if you're stuck with anything through the discussion, you can get in touch with me to help you out. So I really hope to see you there in my class. You can check out the first link in the description down below for all the information. All right, next up, I've got two clips in my timeline. Over the cut, I'll place a short adjustment layer with a crop effect onto it. I'm gonna create a keyframe in the beginning for both the top and the bottom property. Then put your playhead on the cut and change the two values to 50%, bringing them both to the middle. Then go till the end of the adjustment layer and bring the values back to 100. Now, important now is that you select the first keyframes, right click and choose ease out. For the last keyframes, we'll choose ease in. And the middle keyframes can be set to Bezier. And this makes sure that the animation starts smooth and stops smooth. You can also expand the properties revealing the animation curves if you wish to further tweak that. And this creates a simple but super cool transition between two clips. And finally, the crop effect can be used to create a typewriter effect really fast and easy. And with the crop effect onto a text layer, I'm going to drag the right crop line to cover the text, then enable animation for that property. Now, if you have your mouse in the program monitor, you can go one frame forward 
words by simply scrolling the mouse wheel. Then move the crop up by one character, go one frame forward, reveal another letter, and so on. When finished, you have a typewriter effect. Now, if it goes too fast, we can simply use the rate stretch tool and stretch the clip longer. This does remove the typewriting effect, but we can easily fix that. Select all the keyframes, right click and choose hold. And this way the animation jumps from one value to another, making it function again as a typewriter effect. And that's why I use the crop effect on a daily basis. There are probably like a hundred different more use cases. If you have another idea, definitely let me know in the comments down below. Share that with the community. And thank you so much for watching, guys. And I really hope to see you in my advanced Premiere Pro class. Again, link in the description down below. Hit that thumbs up button. And as always, stay creative. Now, check out the video here on my left for more. That one is pretty cool as well. And over there is a the subscribe button if you want to see weekly Premiere Pro tutorials. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Take care.